Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks for joining me today. Today I have a visible image project using this cute stamp set that is called, or maybe it's not cute, it's kind of funky actually, uh, it's called that Love and Feline. And um, I'm also going to be using the Ink Splats stamp set and the Round and Circles stamp set. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off by taking some Bristol Smooth cardstock and some VersaFine black ink and stamping that on my four and a quarter by five and a half card panel. And then I'm gonna create a mask and I'm just using a paper mask. So I'm just stamping that up and I will go ahead and grab my scissors and fussy cut that image. And when I'm doing a mask, I like to cut right along the line so that there is no white space uh, when I go ahead and place that mask on to the um, image that's being masked off. Um, and I'm using the mask, which I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping on top, and I'm also going to be uh, doing a little bit of ink blending and adding some color to the background. So I'm gonna start out with one of the stamps from the Round and Circle stamp set. And I want it to be both on the cat and off, but I've gone ahead and I've added the mask and I'm holding that in place with my magnets. Um, and it's gonna be, uh, I stamped off to the side and then I'll grab another of the stamps in the Round and Circles stamp set um, and add that as well. And this Round and Circle stamp set is awesome. It's got five different um, kind of circle sets in different patterns and styles. I mean, it's a really awesome accessory stamp or uh, background stamp. And so um, I thought it would be perfect for this cat. Um, I also really love this uh, Love and Feline stamp set because it's got several cats. It's got a little paw print. Um, and I just really like the style. They're almost like contemporary cats or something. I just uh, love them. And so I'm gonna go ahead and finish stamping up using the round and circle stamp set. And then I will go ahead and remove that mask because I am not going to be doing any more uh, stamping on top of that. I'm gonna move my paper up so that I can add some, I guess I am gonna use that round and circle stamp again. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that. And then I will use the circle that I used originally um, that I had masked off, but I want that to be on the cat as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I tried to place it as evenly as possible, but it didn't quite match up. Uh, so it, it does look a little bit different, but that's okay. And then I'm using the little paw print on the middle of one of those circles. And then I'll get the ink splats stamp set and add that in several areas. And I'm gonna start my coloring um, and I am gonna use some of my Tombow markers for the coloring. I wanted to, to be kind of a you know different color palette for the cat. And so I am using the colors 933 and 243. Uh, that's gonna be kind of an orange color and then more of a mint color. And then for the body of the cat, I'm going to be using 373. And so I'm basically just uh, adding the marker and then I will take my brush with a little bit of water on it and move that color throughout the uh, stamped image. And I don't use my Tombows with anything but Bristol Smooth cardstock. I don't use any other cardstock because uh, Bristol Smooth is a really great cardstock for markers like this, whether you're using this kind of marker or using the Zig markers. Um, the, these, the, the paper's really well suited to those markers. Now, if you're gonna use a marker like the Karen markers that have the liquid ink inside, um, I would probably use a watercolor paper for that. Uh, but if you don't have Tombows, you can really use any type of marker. You can use Crayolas, anything that's uh, water-based, you're gonna go ahead and be able to move that around. So I went ahead and I finished up the coloring. I am using a piece of tape to mask off one half of the card. Um, and it just so happens, I didn't plan this, but it just so happens that the cat is kind of like right in the middle where it's stamped. Um, and so I'm just using the line of his body to um, place that mask, so uh, it's gonna look really interesting once um, I've got both the colors down. But I'm using some Distress Ink in Salvage Patina, and I went ahead and blended a little bit of that, and then I went back over with the, um, I wanna say it was a, the mint marker, which I believe is 243, and 
and added a little bit of marker and then blended that out. Um, and then I took a clean brush with water and splattered. And then I just uh, swatched a little bit of that ink on the lid and then added my wet brush in that, dipped it in that, and then added a little bit of splatter. And then I will go ahead and pull that off. And by the way, the mask is on again because I am doing the background. Um, I did put a little bit of temporary adhesive on the mask for the cat. Um, and I have placed that over so that I can get the background without uh, coloring any of my image. And then the other color that I'm gonna use on the second half or the other half of the card is Antique Linen and Distress Oxide. And I don't think I realized that I used a Distress Ink and a Distress Oxide doesn't really matter <laughs> but um, I, when I was putting the video together I was like oh okay uh, I used that color um, but I, I did the same thing with that I went ahead and took a coordinating marker to um, add a little bit of um, extra color and then added splatter as well and then for the border of the card um, I am just adding a little kind of squiggle every now and then with a straight line using my black micron pen and then for the sentiment for this one, this is from that Love and Feline stamp set. I'm adding a little bit of foam to the back, but I have white embossed, uh, white heat embossed onto black cardstock, and it says have a perfect day. And then my sentiment was a little bit too long. I didn't want it covering up the little paw print, and so I was trying to figure out um, how to get that on there somewhat evenly uh, without covering up the paw print. And then I'll add a few other little details. I did color the cat's eyes with the green marker, but then around the outside of the eyes a little bit, I am using some firefly stickles. And then on the bits of splatter on the card from that ink splat stamp, I'm gonna go ahead and use some gunmetal stickles. Um, and probably not gonna be able to see it too well, maybe when I hold the card up, but it just adds a little bit of uh, extra flair, I guess. Uh, but that's going to be my card for today. Uh, this is an awesome stamp set. Uh, and so um, I had a lot of fun creating this card. And I hope you liked it too. So if you did like this video or find it informative, um, I would love a thumbs up. As always, I'll have all the products listed in the description below. Um, thanks so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me. And I hope to see you next time.